What's up guys, my name is TechNubber here for Troubleshoot and today I'm going to show you how you can fix this error over here. This usually pops up when you're launching older games or programs for the first time, however it can pop up seemingly at random while you're using your PC and you try to launch something new. So basically today I'm going to go through two fixes, the second one has a couple of options, but I'll get to it when we get to it. The first fix that may work for you is pressing start and typing in feature, then clicking on turn windows features on or off and selecting the checkbox over here where it says .NET Framework 3.5. As such, you'll see that neither of these are checked. However, if you see this and you're able to tick it, hit OK and .NET 3.5 with Net 2.0 and 3.0 will install and this should fix your error. Simply click Let Windows Update Download the files for you and it should go ahead and do everything that it needs and the error should be fixed. However, assuming that this doesn't work, we'll get on to the second half of this tutorial. So a lot of the tutorials that tell you how to fix this error will require you to download an official Microsoft file from a non-official Microsoft source, which of course is a little bit sketchy. However, today I'm going to show you the official way of doing it. And then in the second half of the second solution, we'll go ahead and show you the way of doing it using the other sources. And the time that you need to skip to will be on the screen if you don't have the Windows ISO, the Windows installation media on a CD or on a USB. I'm talking about the thing that you installed Windows with. However, if you don't have it, skip to the time on screen now. So assuming that you do have the Windows installation media on a CD or USB, go ahead and insert it into your computer. Over here, I have it in my DVD drive. And if I open it up, you'll see this over here. Basically, the file that you're downloading is located inside of sources, SXS, and it's this file over here. However, of course, using it from the official Microsoft source is highly recommended compared to downloading it from another source. So if you do have the Windows installation media, this is the file that we're going to be working with. Simply press start and type in CMD, right click on command prompt and click run as administrator. Hit yes when prompted for admin and it will go ahead and either type this in or you can grab it from the description down below, copy it and paste it into the control panel using control C and control V. DISM.exe space forward slash online capital O space forward slash add hyphen package capital A capital P space forward slash package path capital P on both of them colon inverted commas and we'll go ahead and type in the location of the file that we just found. So I'll open up my file explorer, go into D drive sources SXS. However, of course, yours might not be D drive and we'll go ahead and copy this at the very top. Then looking inside of a command prompt, I'll paste it in here with control V and I'll add another backslash. Then here's where things might get a little bit confusing. Simply hit tab as such to go through each of the files in the folder until we find Microsoft hyphen windows hyphen net 3 on demand package that ends in dot cab like this. Note that we're not looking for this one over here that says ENUS. We're looking for the one that doesn't say ENUS. So this one over here, then we'll hit enter as such and you'll see the tool will slowly run through and install this file. Once it completes, you'll have NetFX3 installed on your computer. And as you can see, operation completed successfully. You can go ahead and start up the program that was having the issues and you shouldn't be having them anymore. Either way, that was installing it using the official Microsoft installation media, such as the Windows ISO, USB or CD drive that you can install Windows with. Assuming that you don't have that, you can go ahead and download that file off of the internet, which will be linked down below. Of course, I would highly recommend against doing this. I'd recommend getting it from the Windows installation media itself. However, of course, if you don't have that available, you can do it this way. Once you click the link in the description down below, we'll scroll down and click click here to start your download. And you'll see this over here. We'll wait for it to search for mirrors. And a couple of seconds later, you should see another download button pop up like this. We'll click it and it'll download the file. We'll hit save and we'll click view downloads. Then I'll also click open folder and we'll see the file downloading over here. So we'll just wait for this to finish and then we can continue. Once it's done downloading, you'll see it's finished over here down at the bottom and you'll see the downloaded file is about 70 megabytes. What we need to do from here is press start and type in CMD. We'll right click on command prompt and click run as administrator. We'll hit yes and we'll move this to the side for now. Usually what people do is they take this file over here and they cut it to the root folder on their C drive, i.e. right here next to Windows, program files and the rest of it. So C drive as such and the file is now over here. Then we'll look inside of command prompt. Go ahead and copy and paste this from the description down below. Dism.exe. Online enable feature, feature name, NetFX3, source C, 
slash limit access. Then we'll hit enter and you'll see it run through as such. And we'll wait for this to finish. Once it's finished, you'll see the operation completed successfully and it should be done. From here, you can launch up the program that you're having issues with and it should work perfectly. Either way, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Technobber here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helped you. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.